now let us discuss about user operating system interface so the name itself specifies the meaning an user can interface with operating system an user can interact with operating system with the help of two different approaches we will see those two approaches in this concept there are two approaches for the user to interact with operating system so what is the major use of user operating system interface user can interact with operating system with the help of two approaches the first approach is command line interface in short we can call as cli or command interpreter so cli can also be called as command interpreter whereas the second approach is graphical user interface in short we can call as gui first let us see about the first approach that is command line interface cli or command interpreter we know about command interpreter it is a window where we can have command prompt some symbols dollar symbol so we need to type uh, some commands after typing the commands if we press enter key then the corresponding command will be executed let us assume that at the dollar we typed ls command so after ls if we press on enter key then what will happen this command will be executed we know about the use of the ls it is useful in order to list all the files present in the directory so that is about uh, uh, what is a command interpreter uh, here uh, uh, cli that is command interpreter is implemented in a kernel or cli can be implemented in a system program so we can implement cli in a kernel we know what is a kernel kernel is heart of the operating system so kernel contains important tasks of operating system important functionalities of the operating system there is no difference between kernel and operating system both are same only operating system means entire code whereas kernel means important uh, tasks of the operating system so here the point is cli cli can be implemented in a kernel or it can be implemented in a system program we know what is a system program it is a program which is useful in order to use the system in order to use the computer in effective manner the most commonly used system programs are operating system and here we are using shell in unix or linux operating system the cli that is command interpreter is implemented with a shell here the shell is nothing but a system program so that is the point uh, in unix or linux we have different types of shells like mainly we have four shells first one is bourne shell second one is c shell third one is corn shell fourth one is bash shell so bash means b means bourne shell a means again so bourne again shell so born again shell so we can call this as bash so this is about uh, cli so after explaining cl cli it is better to explain at least four to five commands like we have different commands like uh, ls command we have a command called uh, mkdir command for making the directories for creating the directories we have a command called uh, rm directory which is useful for removing the directory we have a command called cp command move command uh, likewise we have several commands so explain at least uh, four to five commands so this is about cli or uh, command prompt uh, here uh, uh, we can execute the commands in different approaches the first approach is directly from the dollar directly from the command prompt 
uh, we can uh, uh, type the commands after typing the commands if we click on the enter key then the corresponding command will be executed so that is the most commonly used way for executing the commands and the second way is using batch using batch so batch means a program which contains a set of commands so batch is nothing but a program a file which contains a set of commands so now that file will be compiled and executed from the command prompt so if we execute that file from the command prompt then what will happen all the commands inside that file or inside that program will be executed so these are the two approaches which we can use for executing the commands we can execute the command directly or we can uh, include all those commands in a file and from the command prompt we can execute the commands so this is about uh, command line interface cli or uh, command interpreter now let us see the second approach that is uh, graphical user interface in short we can call it as gui gui the best example for the gui is windows whereas the best example for the command line interface is linux or unix in linux or unix we have shell so where we can type the commands and execute the commands okay so gui means windows so here gui means uh, it contains icons some folders so if you if you double click on the corresponding folder then it will displays all the files which are present in the directory if you click on the corresponding files then the content of that file will be opened so gui means a collection of icons a collection of folders so where if you click on that then uh, the files will be opened or uh, if it is a file then the contents of the file will be opened so in order to use gui mainly we use a mouse why because we have to double click on the corresponding icon and we can use keyboard why because we we have to name that directory we have to give a name for the icon so for giving the name so we need to supply some uh, uh, some some name with the help of the keyboard and we need some monitor why because that that information will be displayed on the all those icons will be displayed on the monitor so for gui mainly we require mouse keyboard and uh, monitor so that is about uh, what is ui so the most commonly used gui is windows next let us see this point this is very very important point there are many operating system now which includes both cli and gui so we have three operating systems which include cli what is cli command line interface as well as gui graphical user interface the first operating system is microsoft windows which contains both cli as well as gui second one is apple mac operating system x so it also contains both cli as well as gui next one is unix and linux so this operating system also contains both cli and gui so first let's see about microsoft windows we know that microsoft windows is the best example for the gui so there is no need of much explanation about this gui so microsoft windows include gui interface and it contains a cli interface called cmd shell cmd shell we know that if we if we type cmd in the run window then what will happen command prompt will be opened so from the command prompt we can execute various commands so in windows what is the uh, cli shell what is the cli shell that is command shell cmd shell which opens the command prompt so from where we can execute various commands like make directory boot directory likewise and the second one is apple mac operating system which includes aqua gui interface so in apple what is the gui we can use aqua and here in apple we uses a shell called jet shell and in apple operating system we can use all the unix shells so we have four shells so bourne shell c shell corn shell bash shell we can use all these shells in apple also so these are the uh, various uh, cli shells various what is the uh, gui here aqua is the gui and the third one is unix and linux 
we know about Unix and Linux. So mainly here we can use four shells, these four shells. Whereas here we can use GUI shells such as CDE. So it is very, very easy to remember. CDE. So that is nothing but GUI shell. Next in place of C substitute K. So the next GUI shell is KDE. KDE. So these are the various GUI shells which we can use in Unix and Linux. So this is about uh, Unix operating system interface.